Welcome to the Department of Geography, Environmental Studies, and Tourism at the University of the Western Cape. In the next few minutes, I will take you on a journey to discover more about our department and tell you more about what geography and geographers can help us to understand. Finally, I will show you how we can be part of your learning journey at UWC. You might already have your sights set on becoming a geographer. If not, let me tell you more about who we are and what we do. Firstly, geographers are interested in space and place. Geographers are also problem solvers, constantly asking questions and interrogating the why of where. Geographers love maps. We visualize spatial information, making it visible to the world. Geographers are scientists, crossing boundaries between the natural and the social sciences. We are interested in connections, particularly those between people and their environments. In other words, between society and space. Geographers have been at the forefront of technological innovation and change, creating geographical information systems, or GIS, that now form the basis of much of what we rely on in our everyday lives. Are you still not convinced? Okay, why should you study geography, environmental studies, and tourism at UWC? Let's take a look. Firstly, geography answers a variety of questions about settlement patterns and the very unequal ways that we inhabit geographical spaces. Geography also helps us to understand the process and impacts of urbanization. And with over half of the world's population currently living in cities and growing to an estimated 75% by 2050, our understanding of cities and urbanization is more important than ever. Geography also helps us to understand the climate crisis because all of those growing cities and flying between them has an impact on the viability of our planet going forward. Like our cities, the world we live in is an unequal one, and thus geography enables us to understand the experiences of a range of urban dwellers, their livelihoods, and their struggles. Geography also helps us to understand the causes and impacts of natural hazards, and the role of water in shaping society. Remember the threat of day zero? We hope we never go back there again. Geography can also help us to understand how the same mobility practice, in this case walking, can have very different meanings. On the left, we see people walking in the mountains for leisure. And on the right, people walking en route to a market to earn an income. Same mobility practice very different meanings. When it comes to meanings, we can also use geography and tourism studies to help us to understand the different motivations for being mobile. So building on this idea of mobility, both geography and tourism studies help us to understand different motivations. So what's happening here? Are these individuals on the fence interested in a game of golf? Actually, no. They are migrants. They're sitting on the border, the border between Europe and Africa, while the tourists below are playing, playing a leisurely game of golf. It's all happening in the Spanish enclave of Melilla, a bit of Europe within the African continent. So you see, geography and tourism studies can help us to understand how this mobility practice impacts on everybody, everyday lives. So geography and tourism studies can help us to understand how human mobilities in the form of migration, both voluntary and involuntary migration, and the factors that affect the livelihoods of those migrants. When you study tourism in our department, you will do so from a geographical perspective 
but also one that interrogates the environmental, social, and economic impacts of one of the world's largest industries. And that industry and the study of it, tourism studies, allow us to explore how destinations are created, marketed, and used for economic and social development. Through tourism studies, we can also better understand how these impacts have an impact on localities. Tourism studies can help us to understand the role of heritage. Why is it that people come from all around the world to learn from our history in Cape Town? Now are you interested? If so, where does your journey begin? Well, it begins right here in the Department of Geography, Environmental Studies and Tourism at UWC. We're quite a unique department amongst our peers in South Africa because we're in the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. We offer both undergraduate and postgraduate degree programs. Today, I'll tell you a bit more about our undergraduate programs. Firstly, the Bachelor of Arts with a major in Geography and Environmental Studies. It's a three-year program, beginning with an introduction to human geography and physical geography in the first year. Then, taking a deeper focus on Southern Africa in the second year. And finally, in the third year, a range of modules that allow you to specialize and go deeper into questions in our interesting and unique discipline. Then we have a Bachelor of Arts with a major in Tourism. It begins exactly like the first year in Geography and Environmental Studies, through an introduction to Human Geography and Physical Geography, and then carries on into the second year where you start to focus on various aspects of tourism. Whether you choose Geography and Environmental Studies and or Tourism as majors, your journey begins by enrolling in GES 111 and GES 121 this year. GES 111 will begin with two lectures per week and one practical per week as a double period. And as a student, you'll be taught and mentored by departmental staff that have a range of research and teaching specialties. Those include migration, mobilities, urban food security, tourism geographies, urbanization in cities, land and land restitution, environmental management, and GIS science and earth observation, where we use GIS in order to collect, store, and analyze spatial information. We have dedicated GIS laboratories and equipment, but we also have important human resources. And those resources are your lecturers and tutors. You'll be mentored by these lecturers and tutors throughout your studies in our department. And after graduation, you'll have an opportunity to either pursue postgraduate studies or perhaps a variety of career opportunities. Those include careers in the natural resources, in urban planning, economic development and tourism, GIS, environmental management, or maybe in university teaching or secondary school teaching, or maybe in the transport field. Many more opportunities await. Whatever the case, we hope to see you in our classroom this year and to have you join us on this important learning journey in geography.